Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of rounding decimals. This is standard 5.2c in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 15 of the 2024 released star test. This is a new item type called multiple select, and if you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So this is a two-point problem, and we need to select two correct answers. If I select the first two, you'll notice it is impossible to select a third. If I only select one and attempt to move on, I am going to get a warning signal. So let's see if we can get both points on this question. So Imogene is rounding a decimal to the nearest tenth, and then this is what we get. So our answer to the nearest tenth is 124 and 6 tenths. So which two numbers could she have rounded to the nearest tenth? All right, so we are looking at these numbers, and let's look at the tenths place, okay? So I'm just going to take each of these in turn. So I've got 124.06, right? So the tenths place is going to be the one right after the decimal. So that means I'm looking next door. If it's five or up, right, that's going to change that zero up to one. This one is going to happen. That's going to change up. So that's going to be 124.1, and that six goes away. So really what we're looking at is if we look at it vertically like this, right, we've got 124.00, right, we've got 124.10. And what we're finding is this 124.06. It's a little bit closer to the top than is the bottom because here's my midpoint. My midpoint is going to be at 124.05. So that one does not work because look at my end result, right? It's going to be that 124.10. I can drop that zero. It goes to 124.1. So let's just repeat that. 124.55, my tenths place. I'm looking next door. So five and up changes that. So that's going to be 124.6. That goes away, comes to zero, which we can drop. So that one looks good. It can say yes on 124.55. Because really what we're looking at once again is I've got a 124.55. 50, 124.60, my midpoint, it's going to be that 124.55, and it's right at that midpoint, which means it's going to move up. So let's look at 124.056, tenths place, looking right next door. That is 5 and up, it's going to make that go up 1, that goes away, anything after the the number you're rounding to, if it becomes a zero, so that's 124.1, zero, zero, drop. So this also is going to turn into a 124.1, which is not what we need, right? So if we look at it as a vertical number line here, we can say, well, once again, it's just like this one right up here, right? So let's not draw it again. Let's just use a different color. We've got this 124.056. Six, right? So it's going to be like right there, 124.056, going to the thousandths place. Still going to round up, but not what we need it to be. All right, so let's check 124.51. 124.51, tenths place. Let's look next door. It's not five and up, so nothing's going to happen. That's just going to go away. The five stays the same, and it turns into 124.5. Five doesn't do anything for us. So if we're looking at it in vertical number line, we've got 124.50, 124.60, which is what we're trying to get to. Our midpoint is 124.55, and that 51 is really close to the 50, so that's not going to help us. So let's hope it's this last one 124.615, tenths place, looking next door. It's going to round down. It's not going to do anything. But as those go away, you see the 124.6 emerge. So that's going to be our answer. It's going to be 124.55, 124.615.